All right, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about the new NBA rule and whether or not it's going to affect our San Antonio Spurs at all. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? So when I first heard about the NBA new rules, I thought, wow, they're really going to go after us. I mean, because we're the OGs of this whole thing, right? Like, it started with us. Low management, that's the San Antonio Spurs, baby. That was our bread and butter back in the day. It made sense. Um, so I'm going to go through the rules with you guys. We'll also look at uh, Bobby Marks talking about this when it comes to Victor Wenbanyama, and I'll give you my overall thoughts. Now, before we do, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description, get yourself some merch, or become a patron of YouTube member, only $2.00. Per month and if you can't do any of that if you don't want to do any of that uh just subscribe and like this video and that helps as well um i did not mean that. all right let's go ahead and take a look at this so bobby marks what do you got to say my boy it will be interesting if san antonio does rest him if the league all of a sudden says you know what he's not a star player but we consider him a star you know what mikhail bridges you're not a star player but you played for Team USA and you were the best player. That is not considered a star, but in our perspective, we consider you a star. Now that's the gray area and we'll see if the league manipulates the language as far as the criteria for a star player. It will so be first and foremost, that is not going to happen, okay? The league isn't going to just say, oh, we just kind of like consider you a star, so you're just gonna play and that's what's gonna happen. Um, so this might seem a little bit confusing. So let's, go, let's just go ahead and go through the rules one by one. This was posted by ESPN, how the NBA's new rule on resting stars will work. And they actually explain it really well. So I'm gonna low key do this kind of verbatim. Um, we'll skip over a little bit of the stuff that I don't really think is important. But first and foremost, um, it's just talking about how the rules have changed so much uh, since 2017. Obviously, this, the, the, the San Antonio Spurs created this, where the league wasn't um, allowed to, or the, the, the NBA teams weren't allowed to rest healthy players because Pop, I mean, he just made a mockery of it back in the day. He would post, he, he would literally put on, I know you guys remember this, he would put on the sheet that, oh, uh, Tim Duncan's out tonight because he's old. Like, it was so funny. But yeah, the NBA didn't find it funny. Um, so moving now, and then obviously the Heat started doing it more and more and other teams, you know, follow suit because it made sense. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyways, so this is the first uh, rule, okay? The first criteria. No more than one star player is available available for uh, the same game. So you're probably wondering what is a star? They have a whole criteria here of what makes you a star. I think last season you had to have been an all-star or all NBA. Um, it's a whole thing. Uh, and what they say here is basically that means that Channing or Chase and Tatum, I said Channing Tatum, Chase and Tatum and Jalen Brown cannot sit for the, the the same game. Like that, that's what that means, unless they're injured. And which I find kind of weird because like, what if you're just sick? Because any player could just be sick. I mean, can you really test whether or not they're sick? I mean, if they just say, hey, I got this crazy migraine, it's like, well, you, you can sit. Do you force players to play then? Probably not, I would assume. But I don't know. Maybe they mean real substantial like injury that you can, you can you know, see uh, pretty quickly. I don't know. I have no idea what they mean by that. Uh, but moving on, it says, teams must ensure that star players are available for national televised uh, games and in-season tournament games. I do understand the in-season tournament games because uh, obviously, like, they want more people to actually watch uh, those games. But man, they are just completely missing the point here. But it says here, as an example, the Phoenix Suns hosts the Portland Trailblazers on November 21st. And then the Golden State Warriors. Devin Booker will not be allowed to miss the Warriors game. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Teams must maintain a balance between the number of one game absences for a star player in home games and road games with a preference for those absences to happen in home games. So it says here last season, Steph Curry, Clay, and Draymond Green all played in a home loss to the Indiana Pacers on December 5th. Then all three were rested for a road loss to the Utah Jazz two nights later. Under the new rule, Golden State would have been uh, investigated and likely fined in this case. So yeah, and if you're wondering how much it is, I think it starts off at 100,000 and then it goes to 250,000 
and then if you do it again it's like one point something million it, it, it's a lot of money okay the teams get fined a lot uh, but moving on teams must refrain from any long-term shutdown or near shutdown when a star player stops participating in games or plays in a uh, materially reduced role in circumstances affecting the integrity of the game that is that is vague what um <laughs> but it says here the washington wizards shut down bradley beal for the last 10 games last season with what the team called knee soreness what's wrong with that under the new rule washington would have been investigated by the nba for potentially violating the resting policy the same would have been case for damian lillard who set out the Blazers' final 11 games with the right calf soreness when the team was already out of playoff contention. So he would just be forced to play. I, I get it, but I, I kind of don't. Um, but I, I, we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, and this is, I, th I guess this is what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Uh, teams must ensure that healthy players resting for a game are present and visible to fans. This is not, the, this is not new and was included in 2017 PRP. Uh, if a team violates any of the above rules, it is su subject to a fine of, yeah, here it is, 100000 for the first violation, 250000 and then $1.25 million uh, for the third violation. A team will be fined $1 million more than its previous penalty for any violation be beyond uh, the third. So, what does this mean for the San Antonio Spurs? Well, guys actually nothing nothing at all because we don't hit any of those criteria nor does Wimbanyama even though coming into the league he is very popular uh, so it does say Wimbanyama is also eligible to be named rookie of the year even if he falls short of the 65 game requirement that was added uh, in the new collective bargaining agreement a player who fails to play in 65 games during the regular season is ineligible for five awards but all rookie and rookie of the year are not included so we, we literally have basically nothing to to worry about we don't have a player that fits in all-star or all nba um any i said last season but it's any of the three previous seasons we we don't so we're good like san antonio spurs we're fine even though we created all this catastrophe we're good uh, but here's the thing though i truly do believe the nba is just completely missing the point here i mean just completely missing it i know some people will say well back in my day you know it, guys were tougher they played every game no dude it's just a cognitive bias that you have that's not actually true like if if players were had the the capability of sitting um in 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 those moments they would and and we have so much more uh examples nowadays of players that can't stay healthy that need to sit the san antonio spurs were completely right when it came to tim duncan the reason he had a long career is because the san antonio spurs made sure that they sat him same with Kawhi. like he he, he had his, his problems near the end of, of everything but the spurs saw that okay this is going to go in a pretty bad direction if he he doesn't sit or we don't uh make sure that he's all right same with manu tony they did they do it with everybody um, and other teams have followed suit because they understand that these games are getting kind of out of hand. I'm sorry. J just, I think, I think this, this whole agreement, in my opinion, would be totally fine, I guess, if they also went a step forward and said, hey, yes, limit the season 15 games or 20 games. I just think that overall we would get a better product. This right here doesn't really seem like a great product to me. Um, I understand why they're doing it, and I know that it gets frustrating and it gets to a point where it's like, oh my God, players are just sitting out until the playoffs. I get that. I don't want that either. Uh, the, the NBA doesn't want that. The fans don't want that. No one wants that. No one cares for players sitting down like all the time, okay? I was okay with it as a Spurs fan because we were winning championships. Hey, it just is what it is, and I, I'll watch Patty Mills play uh, all game if I have to. I don't care, but at the end of the day, I understand that in the in the big scheme of things, no one enjoys that. So what would be the solution here? The solution isn't, okay, we're just gonna like penalize you for not playing. That I, I don't think that's the solution here. I think that you're missing the point. You're gonna have more injuries and in the long run, we're not gonna be able to get to see these players at their best anyways. So I think that it, it would be much more beneficial if the NBA just says, screw it, okay, fine, we'll implement some of these rules or whatnot, but just limit the season, just cut it down.
<laughs> oh, nobody's watching. Nobody's watching in October. Cut down the season. That's, that's all you have to do. And I think that you will get a better product. I think players will play more. I think that every, well, not think, this, this is objectively true. Every single game will weigh more. Like, just, just do it. Just, just, oh God, I'm just getting irritated. Just, just, just limit it. Just limit it, dude. Just limit it. I don't know. Those are, those are my thoughts on it. Um, overall, I think this is kind of silly. I understand it, but it, it's, it's, it's a bit much. I mean, it is a bit much. I mean, th this is this is a little convoluted just to fix a very obvious problem. And the problem is, wh what do you think players are sitting down for? And I think this is where the cognitive uh, bias comes in. You think they're sitting down because they're lazy? Oh, they're sitting down because they're lazy and they're soft. I mean, that that yeah, that's an easy answer, but that's not the truth. The truth is, these are too many games. And at the end of the day, you're leaving guys injured, you're leaving guys exhausted, and you're leaving guys with their, their, their seasons and their uh, careers shut, uh, are cut short if you have to play all these games all the time. It, it just doesn't happen like that. And this is not like a typical career, okay? I know these guys make a ton of money, okay? I'm, I'm not sitting here like patting them on the back or, you know, babying, cr cradling them or nothing like that. I understand that. They make stupid tons of money. We can't even fathom how much they make. But you know what else is different from them in regular jobs? They, they don't last that long. NBA players, you're an NBA player for a short period of your life, very short period of your life, okay? You're an NBA player, if you're lucky, from 18 up to your early 30s. If you're lucky, it is hard to make it in the NBA. So you want to have as much longevity as you possibly can. And I don't know, I, I just think that this is, um, this is just, this is just another, this is just an example of, you know, the, the big, the, the the big the big daddy all right the the big corporate coming in and saying oh okay we're gonna fix this problem here's the hammer and it's like no no dude that's not that's not how you fix it you know actually like listen to what the players are saying i don't know really stupid anyways i'll give it to you guys later um you want to support the channel you know how till next time bye